With a cast of more than 20 heroes to choose from, Blizzard's new team-based shooter Overwatch boasts massive variety in both gameplay and strategy. So here's our take on the 8 best heroes for beginners. The power of science! In the offense class, Farah is a great place to start. Using her jump jets to soar into the sky and hover, she commands a wide view of the battlefield. This not only gives you a great chance to learn the map layout, but also to stay out of the maelstrom at ground level. She has a rocket launcher as a primary weapon, which will inflict high hit and decent splash damage. Great if you're new to the game and still getting your eye in. She also has a concussive blast ability, which will knock back enemies and her ultimate will rain down a huge barrage of rockets on your foes. Sorry, but I need to jet. If you want to play down in the dirt, then try Tracer. While tackling the enemy head-on is not advised, Tracer can use her ability to blink through space to quickly outflank the enemy and unleash rapid fury with her pulse pistols. That felt good! Once spotted, you can either keep blinking to confuse your attackers or you can use her recall ability to rewind your position, ammo and health to three seconds in the past. Also useful if you accidentally blink off the map. Tracer's ultimate is a pulse bomb which can stick to any surface, including unfortunate enemies. Overall, she's great fun to play as and very good at keeping the enemy confused, so your teammates can work on securing objectives directly. She shoots! She scores! <laughs> Switching over to the defense class, it's worth getting to grips with Junkrat as soon as you can. As with Farah, his bouncing frag launcher has strong splash damage, so pinpoint firing accuracy is less important. And he is great at blocking pathways and clogging up enemy choke points, allowing your teammates to press on. He also has a deployable steel trap, which hurts and slows enemies down, and a powerful concussion mine, which can surprise attackers or be used to launch Junkrat himself high into the air. He'll also drop mines automatically on death, but it's his ultimate which strikes fear into his enemy's hearts. A motorized exploding tire, it is steerable for 10 seconds, meaning you can find the perfect spot for maximum devastation. Have a nice day! If you want to keep your distance from the front line, then try Widowmaker. Her powerful sniper rifle can keep the opposition pegged back, but also doubles as an automatic rifle when not scoped, in case you get flanked. Select her and you can expect to find yourself engaging in sniper duels with your opposite numbers on a regular basis. Unlike bow-based sniper Hanzo, she can use a grappling hook to reach high vantage points, inaccessible to many other heroes, and can also toss venom mines to sting the enemy with toxic gases. Her ultimate is incredibly useful, no one can hide from my sight. as it applies to the whole team, a visor which reveals all enemy locations through floors and walls. Let them eat cake. On to tanks, where among the great hulking beasts is the hugely fun D.Va. Encased in a massive mech, she has two short-range cannon, which do not require reloading, great for laying down cover and fire, and a forward-facing targeting ability that shoots incoming projectiles from the air. She also has a booster ability which can launch her in any direction, scattering enemies as she goes. Of great benefit to beginners is the fact that if her mech gets destroyed, you effectively have a second life on foot, although one armed only with a blast pistol, until your ultimate is charged when you can call in a new mech. Talking of ultimate, if you still have your mech when this reaches 100%, you can hit self-destruct, creating a huge explosion and then immediately call in a fresh pair of legs. <laughs> Reinhardt is a more traditional tank hero. With a handheld force field, he can deploy at will, safeguarding himself and nearby teammates. When not defending with this in hand, he has a powerful rocket hammer melee attack and a rocket powered charge, from which he can grab and crush enemies with ease. Should you need it, he also boasts a flaming projectile ranged attack. With these tools at his disposal, he is fantastic to play right on the front line, but watch out for flanking maneuvers or attacks from above. His ultimate takes the form of an earth-shattering hammer blow, which damages and knocks to the ground all enemies in its path. Precision German engineer. If you're of a more altruistic, not to mention strategic persuasion, then you need to learn to use support heroes. Mercy is a great place to start. Her Kaidika staff allows you to buff teammates with either health by holding down the left mouse button or increase their damage potential by holding down the right. She can also spot which teammates are in greatest need and use her Guardian Angel ability to quickly fly to their aid. Her ultimate can also be hugely powerful if timed correctly, Heroes never die. as it resurrects all recently deceased teammates within a certain radius. If you do find yourself isolated and targeted by enemies, then she does also pack a sidearm which can allow you to save your own bacon for a change. On a scale of 1 to 10, how is your pain? If all that following players around isn't your cup of 
T then tries Symmetra. Not only does she pack a decent punch with the two firing modes of her photon projector and help teammates with a shield buff, but she also has some of the game's most powerful deployables. Firstly, devilishly annoying sentry turrets that slow down and damage enemies, great to conceal at choke points, and in the form of her ultimate, a teleporter, which provides a shortcut from the spawn point to the heat of the action. Capped at six uses, this eliminates the long trudge back to the fray for the recently deceased, something which can allow you to quickly overwhelm the opposition through sheer weight of numbers. I will put you in your place. Let us know how you get on with these heroes in the comments below.